Hi, welcome to Brush Tips with Sherry. Today we are going to be painting some wildflowers. You can see here on our canvas. And we also have a special for you also. In our community of Wadsworth, we painted this amazing painting here. This is our community painting. What we did with this painting was we set it up at Town Hall and everyone from the community got a chance to come out and paint with us. So I just wanted to share that with you today because it's all finished and ready to go back to City Hall. So if you are one of the people that got to paint on this, please feel free to share this so that you could show off your amazing artwork. We're just gonna set this back here. Thank you for everyone who participated in that awesome. There was so much support and such a good time doing that. All right, today we are going to be using lots of different colors. So if you get a chance to look at the paint palette, do that. We actually have two different colored greens here. We have lime green and phalo green. We have two different blues. We have a phalo blue and an aqua blue. We have orange, the chrome orange is what I like to use. Black, white, and yellow. For our brushes, we have a variety. We actually have a lot of brushes today. We have our Big Daddy, which we always use, right? We love this guy. He gets our canvas all covered with the paint that we need. We have our rounded brush right here, which is also a great for detail work. I did bring that little tiny detail guy, that little baby brush there because we like to just have him just as a backup. I also brought an angled brush too for the fence posts. So let's get started. This one is a little bit trickier painting. We actually have to do this one in layers, but I'm gonna go ahead and just get it on there. First thing I'm gonna do is start with this lime green, and I'm gonna work my way up from the bottom like this. Okay, whoop, we almost lost it. I seem to push a little hard on that. And I like to go in at an angle. And remember to make sure that your paint is nice and wet. If your paint and your brush aren't wet, then your canvas or your uh, paint is not gonna move. So now that I have this green on, I actually want it all at the bottom to make it look like I have some grass growing. We're going to go over it with a darker green. And just keep painting. So I'm going to wet my brush and I'm going to wet my white paint. And I'm going to pull some white paint from the top. And I'm going to grab some more white paint and pull from the top. i got to be careful I don't splash. If you happen to splash some of your paint, it's okay. Just get a rag and wipe it up, right? We have room for boo-boos. I just splashed it on myself. All right, check this out. I love to have it lighter up here so that it looks like the sun is shining into the wildflower field. Add a little bit more green over here, spread it out. Don't forget about your sides so that way when we hang up our canvas on the wall, if we don't frame it, then we have it all wrapped around and you can see where I'm starting to wrap it around, okay? The next thing I want to do, I'm not even going to clean my brush. I'm just going to wet it, actually, just a little bit to wet some of this paint. And I'm going to bring some yellow down into here. I want it to look like the sun is shining down onto my wildflower field. I want it to look like there's streaks of light. All right. I'm going to wet my brush again because I want to wet this white paint. Sometimes my paint dries real fast. It just kind of depends on the humidity. 
in the air temperature, believe it or not. Make sure we hit that side there. You can always come in too and add some more of the white. Let's not forget about, oh man, I totally missed that side. <laughs> I'm always messing up the sides. I forget about them. It's not that I forget. It's just, I wish that the sides would just come painted. Could we do that? Could we special order canvases? Let's grab some of this green here. Throw some of this green down here and on the side too. Perfect. Now I'm just going to let this guy dry a little bit. Now at home, you can walk away for a little while and let it dry. Here, we just have to go right into the next step. <laughs> but for you at home, you can pause and let it dry. So the next thing that I did was I added a little bit of green and blue to the bottom and that was just so that I could bring up some of the darker grasses in the wildflowers. So I'm going to use this angled brush. I think this is great to use because when I go to do it I can pull up and lift. So if you see how I'm doing it and I pull off just real quick Okay, so let's try some of this here. Ready? See how I'm lifting off of that? You can also come in with the bottom. If it's easier for you to flip your easel or your canvas around like this and come in like this, you can do that also. Sometimes it's easier because then you can kind of wipe your brush off on the side of your canvas. All I'm doing is like cleaning the paint off and it's just adding that real thin green line there. And when it's down on the bottom it's hard to do that because you get hit with this. Okay, so just bump it like this, bump, bump, bump and just keep cleaning off your brush. I just want to add really, really light layer of this. I don't want to go too crazy as I start to add a whole bunch. See how I'm just cleaning my brush off? Look at this upside down grass we have going on here. Just clean in the brush. I'm going to flip this guy back around. And there we go. Now we have all of our grass on there. Take a tiny little bit of this blue. I'm going to mix it with this green over here. And I'm just real lightly just going to add one or two little blue grasses. Wherever you feel you want to add them, go ahead and add them. You can even come back in with some of the that lime green again. Just kind of go a little taller with this grass over here. We can also add some stems onto a couple of those. I'm going to make them pop a little bit. Remember, there's no right or wrong way on how to make flowers. Mother Nature is crazy like that. She just does whatever she wants. So I feel like we could do whatever we want <laughs> when it comes to flowers. Basically, when it comes to any of our paintings, right? So now that I have those on there, what I want to do is I want to add these fence posts, okay? So you can either make the fence posts looking out at you or looking in at the field, like you're standing on the outside of the fence post. All it is is depending on the very top of the fence post. So on this one over here, 
I actually did it so that we're inside of the fence post. On this one, I will go on the outside. So I'm just going to add this here. Now I know it's mixing with a little bit of my green, but for you at home it won't because your canvas will be totally dry. This will be all covered up in a minute. We have one. Let's add another one here. We're going to go a little shorter though. Okay. A little shorter. Might need to go a little wider with this one. And maybe a little taller too. I think a little taller will look good. There we go. I'm going to add some black in there in a minute. Sometimes it's hard to paint when you're going on that straight line at an angle. So definitely step back. Definitely step back and take a look and then decide where you want to put them. You will obviously come in at a regular... area. You won't be coming in at an angle like me. So I have them three different sizes. And just because I'm going to add another one right here. Go a little higher with this guy. And let's just add a little one over here. I feel like my spacing wasn't right there. So we're just going to add another little guy right here. We'll just have four fence posts on this one. Okay, how are those looking? Good. Clean off that brush. I'm actually going to grab a tiny little bit of this black and bring it over to the white, make a little gray. I'm just going to do a little bit of shading on this to let it dry while I put the fence posts, do some more detail on these fence posts. If I can get some of that green to cover up, come back in with some white in a few minutes. There we go. Perfect. Whoop. Uh oh. Just clean it up. Make it taller. We just had to make that fence post a little taller. They're a little crooked. <laughs> I'm going to clean this up here. This guy right here. I'm going to take a step back because he's getting a little thick. Hang this up right here. Even these guys out. Sorry to have my back to you. Now, of course, when you're doing this, you can definitely grab a ruler if you feel like you're just not getting them straight enough. But fence posts, again, they're not. They're kind of like birch trees when we. I told you they're not straight all the time. Oh man, I just keep going thicker with this guy. Just clean that off. There we go. Perfect. All right. Clean off my brush here. I'm going to come in with this little round brush and I'm going to add just a little black circle. This is where we're going to put our fence post through. let this dry. When I was painting this painting, I realized that the black wasn't going to show up. This is a tricky painting to get done in the amount of time that we have. So definitely take your time. And I love when you guys paint with me and then you send it to me. It makes my day. Add a little here. We're going to come in with some white in a minute. Just want to get some of this lining done. And just play around with it. Let these steps dry, okay? Clean this off. I'm going to add this post line right here. And I start in black because I'm going to add white over it in a minute. Do you see how I did that? They're like dash marks. Clean off my brush real good. I'm going to come right in with the white. I'm going to add the white right over top of that. 
see how it just kind of makes it look like a stick or a fence post line, right? See how we did that there? Clean that right up. I'm going to still work with this rounded brush. And we're going to add these flowers on. And remember I told you we had the two blues here? What I actually did yesterday was I started with, sorry I kept this up here. It makes it a little bit easier to do those fence posts when they're up higher. We can move this down. And then what I'm going to do is just little, almost flower petal looking. Yeah, we want to go flower petal looking. And I went down. I went down into, so like very long ovals. Okay. And you can just put those anywhere that you would like. They don't have to be perfect. There's also, I did this, a couple of these guys, just to kind of add some flare through there. Just some texture. Okay. You can go on top of the fence or behind it, whatever you want to do. Let's go behind it on this guy. I love the dark blues. Now this one here, we're actually going to add the black on top, almost like, um, what are those, black-eyed Susans? Is that what they're called? Those really pretty flowers. I'm going to come up with this one. Just almost like a tulip-looking flower there. Let's go down with this one. Whoop, look what I just did. That's all right. We'll clean that off later. Today I'm kind of out of it, huh? Bumped this thing like 800 times. How's this looking? Good? Add just a couple fun ones over here. Clean this guy off. Our little round one. I'm going to come in with the orange. I love orange and blue flowers. I'm going to take some white. With the orange, it's usually transparent. So grab some of the white, grab some of the orange, and make almost like a creamy orange color. Then I want you to do that same thing. Okay. Go here. Do one here. You can do four or five little spots on there if you'd like. Round it off at the bottom there. Perfect. Okay. And take your time doing this. If you need to use that little tiny detail brush, please use your little tiny detail brush. Remember, there's no right or wrong way on how to do these. Okay. It's all whatever you prefer. I'm going to add a little guy right here just because it's fun. I also have a little tiny purple in there. I wasn't sure if I wanted to add the purple to this one, so I didn't put it on there. But we can actually make some purple here. Actually, I have some purple. Let's just add a little purple. How about that? Add that little bit of purple there. If you love white flowers and you want to do a different color background, do like a blue background with white flowers, you could do that also. Grab some of this white and mix it with the purple. It'll make a little bit of a lavender color, but that's okay. We need that because the purple might be a little bit transparent too. There we go. And again, it's whatever you prefer. There's no right or wrong way on how to paint any flowers. It's whatever makes you happy. And 
and let's see, we can add, we might need to add some more green in here. So we're just gonna add some more little flowers. There we go. Perfect. Look at how great this is turning out. I love it. I can't wait to see what you guys all have too. Add that there. Oh, I'm so glad I did add the purple. I think it just adds that little bit of pizzazz that we need, right? I'm gonna clean off my brush really good. And I am actually going to take my brush and roll it real good through my black. And I'm actually just gonna bring some black stems to a couple of these flowers. Okay, real lightly, just barely letting my brush touch it. See how lightly that is? Really, really soft. Ooh, it went right through that blue. Did you see that? It'll be all right. We don't want to cover up our flowers too much. Just want to bring some darker in there. There we go. This is starting to look pretty fancy. Now you notice that not every one of my paintings looks the same. I just painted that one yesterday. And then today my brain is working differently. So sometimes you'll paint and then the next day you'll have a totally different style and that's all right too. Just gonna add some black on the top here or in the middle. Add some black here. Make some of those guys pop. If you're more comfortable using the back side of your brush, remember we've talked about this before to add these little dots, you can do that for sure too. Okay. Oh, we don't really need one on that one. There's a couple of them that we don't really need dots on. Okay, just make sure that you clean it off real good so that you don't bump your clothes with it. Let's add this, add here. And again, if at any point you're following along with me, and you get a little lost or you need some advice, please feel free to message me. You can send me a message on Facebook. You can send me a email. You can send me whatever ways you need to. Hire a plane writer because I've always wanted one. Write the question over my house. <laughs> All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do real quick is finish up these fence posts. I love my flowers, so I'm actually gonna leave them alone. I'm going to pull this back up here just so I can play with my fence posts a little bit and not bump the bottom. Just going to come in here real lightly, cover up that green that I pulled through now that it's all the way dry. Make sure you hit underneath here, get some of that going. How's that looking? A little bit better, huh? Now that it's dry. I love wildflowers. We have a lot out by our house. We actually live more towards the country. So we do have quite a bit of wildflowers. My boys and I will go out and pick them, but honestly, the ticks are so bad this year, I'm scared to even go out there and even mess with them. But I did buy big boxes of ones that we need to plant, so I just need to go do it, right? Cover myself, stop being so scared of those ticks. All right, how's this going? Just like our birch trees. If you watched our birch tree episode, this is almost just like our birch trees. You can also grab a little bit of black here and we can just highlight a little bit more just up here, pull some down, go back around here, 
make those pop a little bit. They're like backward C's. Check it out. <coughs> and then, if you're happy with it, definitely leave it be. If you're not so sure, walk away and come back later. Stare at it for a little bit. You might decide you want to add another little flower somewhere else. You might decide that you want to take a flower out, just cover it with white, whatever you choose to do. Bring this back down here for you to take a look at. And of course, like every great artist should, let's grab our, you can do it in paint or you can do it in Sharpie. I'm gonna do it in Sharpie today. <laughs> Always grab something to then sign your name. And you can either sign your full name or just your initials, whatever you choose. But just finish that off and claim your artwork. And there we go. So thank you all for watching again. Please share your videos with us or your pictures so that we can post them and show the world your amazing artwork. See you soon.